Hello everyone and welcome to a problem. This block has become stuck out here because the piston updated and the block didn't. I am told that this happens when you log out while the piston is extended and then log back in or leave the area or something like that. Now there is no way for this block to get pulled back in because the pressure pad that actuates the piston is blocked by the block. And only Endermen can spawn here, so they need a three block high space, and this is only one block high, so no way for that block to get pulled back in. This can become a really big problem if your Enderman farm is full of these blocks. You will get much, much lower efficiency. Endermen can spawn behind here and take up mob slots in the count. And as far as I know, the only way to prevent that from happening is to stay down there until the, your farm is again full of endermen, right up to the mob, the top of the mob count. And then no more will be spawning up here and none of these pistons will be extended and then you can leave. However, that's pretty difficult to enforce on a server and it could be wasting some of your time. So I've tried to come up with an alternative design that will automatically pull back these blocks so that if this occurs it will automatically repair itself. So let's have a look at that design up here. This design uses pressure pads every second block, not every block. So you do lose some efficiency that way. If a an Enderman spawns up here, he has to walk to the left or to the right before he gets pushed off. However, there are some compensations. If an Enderman spawns up here and another one spawns here, and this one here walks to the left, then that one get, will get pushed off as well. So let me show you why. We have a diagonal zigzag of pistons, each of which is powered by these blocks in here. And this block here is powered by both this pressure pad and this pressure pad. And of course, in here, that block there is powered by this pressure pad and this pressure pad. So these three pistons, the ones here, those three are all powered by that one and that one. Like this. One, two, three. These the result of this is that these pressure pads in the middle, not the one at the end, but these ones in the middle actuate five pistons at the same time. And that is going to prevent the block problem, because if a block gets stuck out, it's not dependent on the pressure pad that it is above to be pulled back in. That block there will be pulled it back in if I step on this pressure pad and fall off just like that. So this is true for all the blocks along here. I can totally ruin this except for one pressure pad being uh, free and it'll all fix itself eventually. So advantages, you don't have to come back up here and fix your Enderman farm. Enderman farms are difficult to repair because they are dangerous. Another advantage is that, well, I guess it's the only advantage. Disadvantages, you have to wait for this guy to walk over there or over there before he gets pushed off, so that will lower your fill rate for this pad down there. But I don't think it'll be a lot, because if an Enderman is here, and another one here, and either of them walks onto that pad, then they both get pushed off. So you do get that. That's about all there is to it. Um, I could do a quick demonstration build if you're interested. So, first thing you need is a row for the pressure pads. Place a pressure pad at the end and then every second block. Let's turn between them. Block 
up behind the redstone. Then again, redstone every second block behind the other redstone. And another block behind that. Sticky pistons around these blocks. So you can see it's very, very simple. You be gone. Be gone. Gone. And then we need a block in front of these pistons here. There. And a row here. And that about does it. You can do as many layers of these as you want, up to Y128. They're the same height as the traditional design, and it works. So, if you like this design, it's YouTube, so you know the drill. Share it with your friends if you think they might benefit from this as well. And thank you very much for watching.